Nice work, everyone. The last exercise for SPANS is going to be revisiting our career site that we've been working on throughout this unit. In this exercise, we're going to be styling some special pieces of our site. So remember, first step is copying over our code, and then we can do the editing. All right, we're going to be filling in some content. The content that we're going to be filling in is related careers. This is at the bottom of our job info page. You may have already worked on this in the previous lesson, but we're going to add to it in this exercise. Okay, we're also going to be using a different site, also optional. The BLS site, Bureau of Labor Statistics. I'll link down to it in the description box. There's also a link to it in this exercise. Okay, so this is another resource. If you want to keep using the ONET site, please feel free to use that. They should all be linked down below. Okay, we are going to make an unordered list that contains at least three related careers. It's going to be formatted like this, job title with a short description. Okay, you shouldn't be copying and pasting this directly. Try to put it in your own words. Okay, here's an example. So for the paleontologist or set of related careers, anthropologists and archaeologists, description, study ancient remains of people to learn about the, the development of cultures. Okay, we're going to add some spans. Okay, once you've made the list, put each job title in a span with the class job title. And then we are going to write a rule for that class that makes it bold and maroon in color. Okay, here's a link to the BLS site for you to use to explore related careers. Okay, we've been, we used the ONET site last time. So again, if you want to continue using that, that's fine with me. Okay, I'm going to be using that as well for this exercise. So I'm going to go back and copy my career page code. All right, remember there's a few files we need to copy over. So I'm going to copy over the home page first. And I'm just going to expand my file pane here to make sure I'm putting everything in the right place. So this will be my home page. Then I'll copy my job info page next. And then finally, the style sheet. Okay, so this is going to kind of keep growing every single lesson as we continue to add to the site. Okay, so that should wrap up all the setup. Let's run the home page and take a look at it. Okay, this looks a little different than the last version you saw. Remember, I had that really distracting YouTube background. Okay, I changed it up. This still may not be the best option, but it's a lot better than what I had before. I'm trying to choose something that goes with digital content creator. You can choose to do that, or you can totally put in something neutral if you'd like, okay? So the job information page is what we worked on last, and we're gonna continue working on it. Last time we added the description, salary, and some employers. This time we're gonna add some related careers. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose or insert the related careers that ONET provided. Okay, so down here I can see a list. I'll just choose the first three and add them to my project. Okay, so over in the job info page, I'll go over to related careers. And we're also going to be putting this in an unordered list. So same setup as our employers. Okay, since I'm going to be putting in three, I will go ahead and just insert that now. Okay, so the first one I'm putting in Oops, there we go. Okay, Advertising and Promotions Manager. So you're just gonna type that just how you see it. And remember, we're gonna add a description, so I'll put a colon now. Public Relations and Fundraising Managers. And then finally, the directors, stage, motion pictures, television, and radio. Okay, you can put more than three or less than three. It's totally up to you. Again, this is your project, so feel free to 
again, customize it to your liking. All right, so we need to add in a description. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that in for the first one, okay? So it's plan, direct, or coordinate advertising policies and programs, or produce collateral materials such as posters, contests, coupons, or giveaways to create extra interest in the purchase of a product or service for a department, an entire organization, or an, on an account basis, okay? So I read that there because you know, we shouldn't just be designing the site. This is really also an opportunity for you to do some genuine career exploration. Okay, so kind of knocking on two birds with one stone. A lot of you taking this class are in high school and starting to think about careers or what you may want to pursue after high school. So this is also, or this project is also an opportunity to explore career. So take your time with it. Really read these descriptions and take your time exploring the sites. I'm moving through it just a little quicker because I'm demonstrating, but for for you, I really would like or encourage you to take the time to just really explore these, these resources. Okay, so that should set up the title and then description. Let's see what else we need to work on. Okay, so we have our job title and descriptions. Now let's go ahead and wrap each of our job titles in a span tag. Remember, span tags are useful for grabbing a portion of a tag, and we're going to put it in the class of job title. Okay, the closing span tag is going to go on the other side of the colon. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this down the line here. Okay, and then last one on my list. All right, looks good. So once we got our class in, last step is going over to the style sheet and writing the rules for that class. So down at the bottom, I will add in my next rule, which is going to be dot job slash title because this is a class and the font weight will be bold and the color is maroon. Let's run that and see if we get the result we're expecting. Okay, so it looks good. Our job title should be in maroon and bold. And I believe that wraps up the span exercise. Really nice work. Again, take your time with this. Explore the careers. Oh, and I forgot to point out, if you want to go ahead and use the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics Occupational Outlook Handbook, this is also a great resource. I don't believe we've talked about this yet in this unit. Okay, so I'll link the link to this down below. Also, just a reminder, it is in the exercise as well down at the bottom. All right, nice work. Any questions, please leave them in a comment. Lesson six is next.